So about a couple of weeks ago, I visited an Oud event here in Las Vegas and what I saw there was amazing. I got to smell a lot of natural Oud oils, sandalwoods, a lot of natural oils in general and also synthetics that they use to make perfumes and aromatics that they use in other industries. It was quite the amazing experience. And while I was there, I was actually pretty impressed with pretty much all the brands that were there. Like They're all very unique and the world of natural Oud oils they, it's, it's so fascinating, like the naturals versus synthetics. Natural scents smell so good, so realistic, authentic, and soothing to the nose. Now, every time I smell something that's 100% natural, it's like I'm breathing in silk. It's that smooth. It's very rich, smooth, and oh, it's just far different from synthetics. Now synthetics, when you smell a lot of synthetic fragrances, you feel that your nose gets fatigued after a while. You won't have that problem at all smelling 100% natural fragrance. It's a world of difference. And I'm happy to be showing one of the brands today that I found at the event. They actually gave me some samples for them to be exact, and we're gonna be exploring them today. Hey guys, me. welcome back to another video and today we have an oud oil brand of Al Hashimi. This brand makes 100% natural oud oils and they sent me four samples of them. Now these are not compositions, they're not uh, composed fragrances, these are just the oud themselves. And they're from, you know, different parts of the world. I have four vials right here. I gave this fragrance a few wearings before because I wanted to give a really fair um, view on these because you can't get all the nuances of oud in one go because oud guys oud if you guys do not know what real oud is it's just, it's a whole bunch of things there's so many different kinds of oud and all of them can pretty much be their own fragrance like some oud don't just smell of oud some oud smells fruity some oud smells leathery smoky or sweet they, they all can be their own fragrance and a lot of them are just rich in texture and scents in general like I think Peter mentioned that some of them can even smell floral as well which to me is mind-blowing because when I think of oud the only thing I heard about oud in the mainstream world is that it is a potentially barnyard note it's just a potentially barnyard a dark woody note that's all you really hear out there in the world but um, if you dive into what oud really is it opens like a whole Pandora's box worth of amazing stuff. This first one I'm gonna pick up is called Al Kindi from Malaysia. This is a 2015 distillation from Malaysia. Now this one to me smells like the most typical oud. Like when people think of oud, they think of like dusty, dark woods, right? This one smells the most like what mainstream people would think of oud. However, it's not barnyard, it's not skanky, it's very, very pleasant on skin. God, it smells really good. It has a sweetness in there. The sweetness smells like... The sweetness almost smells like it has a touch of some syrupy honey in it. Like it, it has... It's, it's, imagine oud mixed with a slight touch of sweet honey. That's what this oud smells like. Gosh, it smells really good. Now on skin, the development of this scent, it starts off sweet, but it dries down to a more of the dusty oud, the typical oud that I was talking about. So it started off kind of sweet, kind of syrupy with a little bit of like a honey note. It dries down to just, you know, the dusty oud that everyone knows and love in fragrances. And that's totally fine to me. It's probably one of the more easier to wear oud oils. And yes, I would wear a lot of these oud oils on, on their own because like I said, a lot of them just smells like their own fragrance. But this is probably the most easiest one to wear and one of the more easier ones you appreciate if you're new to exploring oud oils. This one is Al Kindi from Malaysia. I, I, I highly recommend this one if you're just getting into oud. Ah, oh, it smells good. It smells good. Imt? Imt? Samrak. I don't know how to pronounce the first word, but I'll leave it on the screen. It's from Saba and it's distilled in 2017. So this is like a newer, newer oud. Now this one to me smells more animalic, but it's not overly animalic that is off-putting. It's just enough to smell artistic, but not enough to be like, you know, like I said, off-putting. Now the opening of this is quite strong, but as it dries down, it actually reveals a quite an interesting vibe. It has some earthiness to it and it also has some green and clean uh, vibe to it that reminds me a lot of vetiver. So this is, if I were to explain it in the most easy to understand way possible, this is oud that dries down to vetiver. So it starts off with this slightly animalic syrupy type oud with the background of something earthy and as it dries down you start to get the green, the vetiver, the earthy vetiver feeling 
coming out and at the very very base of the dry down to me it just smells of vetiver like the oud is almost gone it just there's just hints of these dark woodiness left but the main bulk of the smell now smells like a very high quality vetiver just dark just dark earthy green and, and clean. I would say if you're a fan of vetiver, you should definitely give this one a try. To me, this is not my most favorite because vetiver is not my favorite notes of all time. I don't particularly like green and grassy earthy scents, but for vetiver lovers, I think this is like, this is gonna be pretty much heaven. It smells really good. You get to smell this 100% natural oud and 100% natural smelling vetiver. Remember guys, there's no vetiver in here. It's just the oud, but it smells of natural Vetiver, so good. I love oud. I love oud so much. It's, it's, they're so fascinating. So many nuances. Oh, I, like smelling these four alone just makes me very excited to explore more. So, before I get too excited, let's jump right into the next one. Next one we have Khans from also from Saba. This thing is a 2015 distillation. To me, this one on skin smells a bit richer, and in, especially in the opening, smells a bit richer than the 2017, but dries down about the same. It's another nice earthy vetiver one. I think the main difference in this, besides the richness, is it smells a tad bit more animalic. Like it smells, you can tell the difference between 2015 and 2017 right away because 2017 to me is an easier to appreciate one for sure. The 2015 is slightly more animalic. It smells a little bit pissy in a way. It's harder to like, but that's mainly in the opening. The dry down is still that really nice kind of Haitian vetiver type of smell. So if you can get past the opening part, this fragrance is just like the other one, very beautiful. And especially for those of you who love vetiver, I recommend you check this one out as well. This last one is my favorite from all the four samples. This one is called Thrat and it's from Thailand. Yes, this is an oud from my own country and it smells the best. Of course, everything about Thailand is the best. Thai reviewer, the best. Thai oud, the best. So right off the bat, this oud smells fruity. It's so sweet, it's fruity, it's dark, woody. God, it's so good, it's divine. Man, I want to own a bottle of this so much. I wonder how much it costs, <laughs> because I know that oud oils are pretty expensive, but. I want to own a bottle of this. I want to just have one to smell. I, I fear that I'll probably run out of this little tiny 0 0.3 gram size, I think, but man, I want a full bottle. Maybe maybe I'll save up to buy one or something. I don't know how much it costs. It smells really, really good. It has a lot of sweetness in it, but the sweetness is not like a sugary sweet. It's like a fruity type of sweetness. It smells fruity. It smells sweet. It smells of dark woody oud. The oud itself is not at all animalic. It's just really nice, rich, and just it has a little bit of warmth to it as well. But man, the star players, definitely the fruity nuances of this. Gosh, it's the most beautiful smelling oud oil I've smelled so far. Jeez, if you were to get a head start in oud or smelling just natural oud and you want one that com will completely knock you out of this world, I recommend any oud from Thailand, especially Thrat. This one, so, so good, man. So You can tell from my expression that I really cannot stop smelling this one. I would wear this on its own. I would seriously wear this on its own. In the winter time, it would smell just completely gorgeous. Fruity, sweet oud that smells extremely natural, that doesn't bug my nose. Yes, please, I would love to wear this. Seriously, guys, check this one out. Thrat 2016 Distillation from El Hashimi. This one is amazing 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 quality and my favorite out of the four if you're gonna check out any oud at all from this line check out this one i think majority of you guys will love how this smells even if you're a designer fan and not even a niche fan you'll still probably appreciate how beautiful this thing is all right guys that's it for this video today thank you again to al hashimi for giving me some samples to review i will I, I will look into getting some bottles. I, I really want to get that Throt one. I, I, I hope it's not too expensive. But thank you guys for sending me the samples. And thank you to everyone who watched this video all the way to the end. I know there's not a lot of love for Oud out there, but I want to change that because Oud is really beautiful. I hope you guys come to learn more about these and start to explore them yourself because once you do, it's, it's, it opens your eyes, really. They're all very beautiful. So with that said, I'll see you guys again in the next video tomorrow. Peace. Bye.